I finally solved the mystery. As you may recall in my previous video on inside fillets, I showed you the abject failure of creating a sweep around the entire perimeter of the plaque in the part workbench. But mysteriously, a very similar operation using a subtractive pipe in the part design workbench worked perfectly. This is especially odd since the part design workbench actually calls functions from the part workbench to do much of its work. So I looked at the process of creating the subtractive pipe and a thought occurred to me. As I'm selecting edges for the pipe to run along, the display updates with each edge added. It shows the added segment of the pipe in red to indicate a subtractive operation. What if it's not regenerating the pipe each time, but in fact is creating a separate pipe and just fusing it in cumulatively? So let's give that a try in the part workbench. I'll start with the plaque extrusion as always, 10 millimeters thick, and I want to put a 4 millimeter fillet around it. I also have the second sketch with the circle 4 millimeters in radius, just like the last time in the abject failure and for that matter, in the success with part design. Select the circle sketch. Click on mapping and click on the three dots to attach it and select an edge of our shape. Then sweep. Choose the circle sketch as the profile and set the path to the edge we just attached it to. Make a solid and done. We're going to need the circle again, but changing the attachment will mess up the sweep we've already done. So select the circle and draft clone. Attach the clone of the circle to the next edge on the black. Again select sweep. Use the clone sketch as the profile. Set the path to the edge just attached. Create a solid and done. This looks promising. It's much like we see when creating the subtractive pipe in the part design workbench. I'll do one more edge just to belabor the point. Now I'll select the three sweeps and fuse. Select the plaque. Select the fusion and cut. If I just repeat this procedure all the way around, I should be able to fuse them all together to form the complete pipe, and then cut them from the plaque to get the desired result. But that seems like a huge pain in the posterior. What if I had a more complex shape with dozens of edges? Fortunately, FreeCAD provides an answer for this in the form of macros. It's quite similar to macros you might see in other software, but in fact it's far more powerful. In FreeCAD, a macro is Python code that runs inside the framework of the model. That code can be quite formal in design, or it can be a simple and formal script. In fact, it's a decent way to start when developing a new tool or workbench, but in this case I'm going to go with the simple script. First select the sketch to use as a profile. Then select each of the edges in sequence, although actually it doesn't matter if they're in sequence or not, so long as they're all selected. Go to Macros, Recent Macros, Multi-Sweep. And like magic, there it is. Now select the plaque out of any one of the sweeps, select the fusion, and cut. It looks just like the results in the part design workbench. Now because anything worth doing is worth overdoing, I also made the script so that if you select a face it will include all of the edges that make up that face. Finally, if a whole object is selected, it will find all of the edges in that object. If you'd like to install and use this macro yourself, I placed the link in the description of the video. Start by going to Macro, Macros, and then at the bottom of the dialog, it'll tell you the location of FreeCAD macros for you. Go to the raw file link in the description. 
save as, and save it into that directory. Some browsers may helpfully add a .txt extension to the save file name. Be sure to remove that. In order to actually see it, you'll need to close the macros dialog and open it again. Select multi-suite from the selector and press the execute button. Since nothing would be selected, this will throw an error, but that's okay. By doing that, you place multi-sweep into the recent macros list. In the future, if multi-sweep falls out of the recent macros list, you can always select your profile, select your edges or faces or object, and go to Macro, Macros, select multi-sweep and click Execute. It's also possible to place the multi-sweep macro into a custom toolbar with an icon of your choice. See the free CAD documentation for that. If you'd like to see videos with more details about creating and using macros, let me know in the comments below. Please also let me know your level of experience with Python, so I'll have some idea of what would need to be covered. Anything from that tall guy is really funny to Python developer is my day job. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video or found it useful, please like, subscribe, and share. If there's anything you'd like to see covered here, please let me know in the comments below.